So um, the pro or the power moves today are going to be um, on the floor in that four point position. As always, you have the option um, at the end of the session. You have the option to do them either in a seated position, which a lot of those moves we do to warm up as well, or um, when we're doing the four point, we can do it modified with the chair as well. So we'll go over that when we get closer to it. All right. Go ahead and sit up nice and tall. We're gonna to scooch towards the end of our seats. Um, step out wide uh, with our feet so we have a nice stable base there. Sitting up nice and tall. We're gonna take some breaths in as we bring our arms up over body. We'll pause at the top and feel that stretch and then exhale as we come down. And we'll do five here. Coming up and down. That's one, and down, two, and down, three, four, and five. Next, we'll do range of motion at our neck. So we'll alternate in between looking up at the ceiling, looking down towards the ground, and we'll do 10 total here. So we look up, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. And then we'll look over our right shoulder. So from that neutral position over the right shoulder, then back to the neutral position. We'll do five on our right and then we'll switch and do five on the left. And then one, two, three, four, Five, and then opposite direction. One, two, three, four, five. Next, we're gonna do our shoulder shrugs with circles forward and backwards. We'll do five backwards and then we'll reverse it and do five forward. So shrugging the shoulders up, rolling them back, that's one two, three, four, five, and then reversing, one, two, three, four, five, good. Stretching out the um, front of our chest, we're gonna start with the palms facing towards us, and we're gonna open up wide into that gold post position, and then come back in. So we'll do five here. One, two, three, four, five. Good, warming up those shoulders just a little bit more. We're gonna go into like a scarecrow uh, position or a gold post, and then you're gonna bring them down and then back up, and we'll do this five. One, two, three, four, and five. Good. Um, next, we're gonna do our power up. So with this one, we're gonna bring our hands down to our thighs. Our chest is gonna come down towards our um, legs. We're gonna push big and fast and open in that top position. And we'll do five here. Going down and power up. One, down and up. Two, down, up. Three, down, up. Four, and down, up. Five, good. We'll do our power rock next. So remember power rock is to help with that weight shifting component. So all my weight's gonna be heavy on one side 
it's going to make it easy for me to move the other side of my body. So you want to kick the leg out and you're going to reach the other arm up towards the ceiling. Okay. So I come down heavy on one side. I kick that leg out and twist up towards the ceiling and we'll alternate till 10. And then opposite side out and up two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, And 10. All right, next we're gonna do some uh, cat cows. So with this one, we're just rounding the back, bringing our head down, and then we're sitting up nice and tall and pushing out our chest. So I'll show you what that looks like from the side as well. I wanna make my um, spine into a C shape, and then I'm gonna sit up and nice and tall, and I'm squeezing in between the uh, shoulder blades in that tall position. Okay. We'll do five here, and round down, come up one, and then down, up two, down, up three, down, up four, and down, up five, okay. Next, um, we're gonna do that power step. So we're gonna step out big and wide, and then you're gonna come back in. So with this one, again, we'll um, break it down. So we'll do five on the right, and then we'll switch and do five on the left. So I'm stepping out wide, and I step back in. That's one. Out. Two. Out. Three. Out. Four, out, five, and we'll switch sides, stepping out wide, and then stepping back in. That's one, out, two, out, three, out, four, out, five. All right, next we'll warm up the ankles, uh, lower leg muscles. So we're gonna alternate in between bringing our heels up off the ground and then back down and you're gonna bring the toes up. So we'll do 10 total here alternating. So I'll do one and then two, okay? So I bring my heels up is one, toes up, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, last one we'll do is our marching in place with our arms swing. So we're gonna alternate. Um, we'll do opposite arm, opposite leg, and we'll alternate till we get to 20 for this one. So we come up one, two, three, four, five, six seven, eight, nine, ten, and one more set. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so we'll get started with our circuits. So today we have um, two different circuits. And again, um, they're composed of three different exercises. We'll do each circuit twice so that the first time around you can kind of get a feel for the movement. The second time um, we work on trying to perfect that movement. Uh, we'll do each exercise for one minute. We'll have 30 seconds to rotate into the next position. And, um, and as I said, we'll repeat it twice. 
So um, the first one that we do in the standing position is going to be a, a curtsy lunge. Um, I'll go over what that looks like. Then seated in the chair, we're going to do a movement pattern. So we'll do in, in, out, out with our arms. We can do um, this one with the small hand weights. And then we're going to get onto the ground and we'll do our power up um, laying on our belly with um, our power rock. So um, both movements. Um, you have the option to do that in the seated position as well. Okay, so I'll take you through and we'll show you what those look like. So that first one, curtsy lunge, um, we're crossing back. And I'm going to pan down so that you can see my feet. As always, I want you to modify it so that it's within what you um, can tolerate and you're being safe with this one. So if you need to have a chair, have the chair to the side, you're gonna step back and bend and then come back into that standing position. Then the other leg's gonna step back and bend. Okay? So that's what our curtsy lunge will look like. And again, we can always alternate this, um, alter it based on what you can tolerate. So you may not be able to go down as low and that's okay. Next, that in, in, out, out. So with our hand weights, I'm gonna punch out to the side and I'm gonna step out and then in and punch out and step in. Okay, so out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in, okay? Um, the last one, down onto the ground or in the chair, I'll show you the chair first. Um, with the chair too, if you wanna make it a little bit cha more challenging, you can do a full stand up. Otherwise, you can do our power up, and then you're going to rock and rock. Or if you want to make it more challenging, power up, and then I rock, rock. Um, I'm going to do it on the ground. So variety is the spice of life, so options can do it in that seated position. Otherwise, we get down on the ground. Oops, sorry. So on the ground, it's gonna look like this. I bring the elbows out wide, I power up, and then I'm gonna reach across body and reach across body, okay? So three different options to do that one. All right, we'll go ahead and get started. We're gonna start with those lunges in our standing. Take off here in about 10 seconds. Get your chair is ready. And starting. Okay. And I go back, back to my tall position and alternate. And Halfway there. Last 10 seconds. Good. Transitioning into that seated position. We're going to do our 
In, in, out, out. Out, out, in, in. Have about 10 seconds and we'll get started. Out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in. Ah. And halfway there. Last ten. All right. And we have those power ups with our reaches options to do it in the seated position. Otherwise, get down onto the ground with me. We take off in about 15 seconds. All right, starting, coming down, power up, reach and reach and down, reach, reach, good. Halfway there. Last 10 seconds. All right. Good, and that's the first circuit. So we'll start all over in about 30 seconds at the top with those curtsy lunges. Good, about 10 more seconds. We have this round one more time. Good, starting with our curtsies, crossing behind, dropping that back knee. Try to keep the trunk up nice and tall during this one. Last 30 seconds. Looks good. And 10 more, 10 more seconds. <laughs> good. And sitting down for that in, in, out, out. Have about 15 more seconds left till we take off. Good. 
All right, starting out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in. Good. Halfway there. <laughs> Last time. Good. And we're switching down to our power ups with our breaches. And taken off in about 10 seconds. Uh, starting power up and we reach across our body. Halfway there. And last 10 seconds. Good. All right, we'll take a small break, get a drink of water if you want. In about one minute, we'll go over the next circuit. All right, so similar to the first circuit, it's gonna be composed of those three exercises in a standing, seated, and floor position. Um, you'll have an option to do a modified floor position if you're not able to get up and down from the ground. We still have a minute in each position and 30 seconds to rotate through the room. Um, the first one in standing, we're gonna work on our um, reaching outside of our base of, of support. So in that, Standing position, we're going to reach as far as we can with our right hand forward, and then as far as we can with our left hand forward, and then right hand to the side, to the um, left side, and then behind us with both our right and left hand. Uh, in a seated position, we're going to do our power up with a twist. You can have that option again to stand all the way up or just do it in the seated position. And then getting down onto the floor, we have uh, donkey kicks. So we'll go through and I'll show you exactly how each one of those look. So in that standing position, again, if you need to, you can have a chair um, to help with that balance component. You're gonna open up your feet so um, you have a nice base at the feet, but we're not gonna step forward as we're reaching. I'm gonna rock my weight onto the front of my toes, reach out as far as I can. Once I feel that I'm um, getting to my limits, I'm gonna come back into that standing position, do the same thing with my opposite arm, back into that neutral position, 
Then I reach as far as I can to this side and opposite side. And then I'm gonna reach as far as I can behind myself. Good, so I turn and reach back into my starting position and turn and reach. So probably best if you have the chair in front of you like this. So if you needed to reach, you have one hand on the chair if you need. And in that seated position, we'll do our power up with our twists. So I come down, up, I'm gonna turn, open, turn, open. For an added challenge, um, I'm gonna have you power up here, and then we do our full standing twists and then back down. Um, our donkey kicks on the ground. So with the chair, if you're not getting down onto the ground, we'll do a modified four point position. Make sure that your hands are um, underneath where your shoulders are. So we're not pushing the chair forward in this position. We'll move on you. So from here, I wanna have the leg bent at the knee and I'm gonna come up towards the ceiling. Good. And with this one, we'll alternate too. So we'll come up and down, up and down. On the floor, same thing. Now, I want to make sure that I'm holding my spine in a neutral position so I'm not letting it sag. So tucking the tailbone underneath, I'm gonna bend, bring it up towards the ceiling, back down, up towards the ceiling. All right. So we'll start with that reaching outside of our base of support, that standing position with or without the chair. Whatever's gonna challenge you the most while keeping you safe. And we'll take off in about 10 seconds. Starting. So I reach forward and opposite side. Good. Reaching out to the side. Side. Good. And reach it back. Good. Uh, and then we start that cycle over, about halfway there. I need the chair on that one. And forward. Last 10 seconds. All right, now switching to our power up with our power twists. Taking off for about 10 seconds. Coming down, I'm going to that full power up. We're pivoting with that back foot as we do our power up. So the whole body's turning and twisting, working on that mobility in our spine. 
Good. More than halfway finished. Last 10 seconds. Good. Now, either getting down onto the ground into that four point position or using the chair to do our modified position. And we'll alternate in between sides. We take off in about 10 seconds. Starting. Oh. Halfway there. Last ten. All right. So we'll start that one more time at the top. And we'll take off in about 30 seconds. So standing up with our reaches outside of the base of support. About 10 more seconds. All right, starting the feet stay planted, reach as far as we can in that forward position. See if we can maintain it for a second or two before we switch into that other position. Good. Halfway there. And last time. All right, getting ready for the power up with twists. Taking off in about 10 seconds. Good, starting up, just, just, Halfway finish. Last 
Last 10 seconds. All right. Switching to those donkey kicks, either on the ground or in that modified position with the chair. And we take off in about 10 seconds. It's starting. Halfway there. And last 10 seconds. All right. Made it. Okay, so the next one that we'll do are the uh, power moves. We'll go through and we'll do repetitions first. So we'll do uh, eight repetitions in each position. And then at the end, we'll link them all together in a power flow. So again, with our um, four point position is on the ground and our hands and knees we want to have the wrists underneath the shoulders, um, the knees underneath the hips. Um, the first one that we do, our power up, you have the option. Um, so our power up, if you like. So you come down, power up. Oops. Coming down, and that would be our power up. So we'll do 10 of those. Um, the next one, our power rock. With this one, we're gonna bring the wrists out a little bit above where the shoulders are. We rock back, and then when we come forward, we can drop our hips if we're able to, or we can just come into a neutral position, like a planked position. Uh, so that would be our power rock. Our power twists, we're gonna come threading the needle under and twisting above. So I'll show you on the side here. That little space in between my, um, my arm and my leg. I'm gonna bring my arm underneath, twist, and then we'll twist up towards the ceiling. This one will alternate sides. The last one, our power step, um, we can either step, or if it feels good, you can come up. And this one will alternate as well. So you gotta lean over onto one side, bring the leg around, come up. With the modified version, similar, only without getting onto the ground, we have our power up, our power rock, I'm gonna rock back, rock forward, Good. My power twist coming under, twisting. And then my power step, I'm either stepping or I'm stepping and coming up again. All right. So we'll go through and we'll do 10 of those and eight, or eight of those in each position. All right, and we'll take off in about 10 seconds. Go down, starting with that power up. 
good. So I bring my body down, push up big, bring my arms out wide, that's one. And power up, two, three, four, five, three more, six, seven, last one, eight, good. Next, we're switching into that power rock. So we're gonna bring the arms a little bit more forward. Good. And I'm gonna sit back towards my heels. And then I'm gonna rock forward, drop my hips if I can. One. Two. Three. Four, five, three more, six, seven, last one, eight. Good, the next one is my power twist. We're gonna alternate till we get to, we'll alternate till we get to 10 with this one. So we'll do five on each side. All right. So again, I'm gonna take one arm and thread it through that space. And then come up and my head turns towards my hand. That's one. And opposite side, two. Three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, one more on each side. Nine, and last one. Ten. Good. And last one is our power step. And this one, the same thing. We'll alternate till we get to ten, so we get five on each. So I'm going to step out to the side. I can come up if I want to. One. Two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, we'll do one more each side. Nine, and all right, and the last one we'll do is just, just link them all together, okay? So whenever we do a flow, we just do them in succession. Um, so I'll walk you through just one time just to show you what that looks like. And then we'll do uh, a set of five, okay? So we will go down into our power up, straight into our power rock, into our twist to the right, twist, to the left and step
and step, okay? So that equals one repetition. We'll do that five times, okay? So starting on the ground with our power up. Power up. And we're rocking. Forward. Our twists. And opposite side. Good, last one, step. Good, that equals one. Straight down into our power up. Good. And we're rocking back and forward. Good, and twisting. The opposite side. And then step. Good, that's two. And power up. We're rocking. Last one step. Two more to go. Coming down, are up. Good, power step. Last one. All right. Okay, the last thing we have left is just our cool down. So we'll do some stretches. All right. So sitting up nice and tall, we're going to start with stretching our upper shoulder and neck. I'm going to bring my right ear towards my right shoulder. I want to keep the opposite side planted because that's where the um, stretch is going to be. So I don't want that shoulder to shrug up. Otherwise, that muscle is not being elongated. So I um, am holding underneath my chair, bring my right ear towards my right shoulder and give some overpressure if I need. And I'll switch to the opposite side. So my left ear towards my left shoulder, my right arm's gonna stay planted. And if you need to, give a little overpressure with that left side. Good. And next, I'm gonna stretch the back of my shoulder. So I'm gonna bring my right arm across my body. I'm gonna hug it into myself with my left arm just above the elbow. And then I can do some wrist circles here. Good. 
turning the opposite direction. And then switching sides. Or In the opposite circles. Good. I'm going to twist at the trunk. So I'm going to bring my right hand towards my left knee. My left arm is going to come onto the chair and I'm just going to gently twist and fold. Good. We'll go the opposite way. Now I'm going to bring my left arm to my knee. My opposite hand's coming to the chair. And I give a gentle twist. Uh, next, I'm going to bring out my feet kind of wide, opening up at the hips, and I'm going to lean forward. I'll dip one shoulder in, back, and then dip the opposite side, so kind of like a chicken wing sort of position, and we'll alternate to 10. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Next time I have you sit up nice and tall towards the end of your seat. We're going to bring one leg out all the way straight so that it's straight at the knee. And then you're going to lean your body forward, reaching towards the toes. So you feel stretch in the back of the thigh, and we'll hold this position here. And we'll switch sides. Opposite leg comes all the way straight, bending at the waist, reaching towards the toes. and stretching out the back of the hip you're going to bring your leg in hugging it towards your chest if it feels uncomfortable to put that pressure on the knee you can come back behind in this position as well and we're going to do just like we did with the wrists we'll do some ankle circles and we'll go in both directions and reverse that circle And the opposite side. And then reversing.
Good. And the last one we'll do, um, we'll do that butterfly stretch. So with this one, you're gonna interlace your fingers and put it back behind your head. Um, we're gonna, as we round at the spine, we're gonna pull the elbows in together and exhale our breath. So the head will come down. As we sit up nice and tall, we're gonna try to pull those elbows apart so that we feel good stretch in the chest at the top. And we'll do five here. So we exhale our breath on the way down, we take a breath in on the way up. So I bring my spine into that rounded position, elbows coming in, exhaling. And then as I sit up nice and tall, pulling the elbows apart, deep breath in. That's one, and exhaling. Two. Three. Four, and five. All right. That is all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for joining me.